Good old 4 is finally here. Hi, I'm Aramis, and in this video, we're going to figure out if I should switch my current project from Godot 3 to Godot 4. I want to give a huge thank you to everyone who participated in the countless alphas and betas. And of course, a special thank you to all of you glorious contributors who continue to make Godot better and better with every commit. Like many of you, I've been keeping a very close eye on the progress of 4.0. But I have this little problem. Over the past year, I finally buckled down and started working on my very first game, Chess Survivor. As such, I've been heads down developing and releasing my game into early access over on Steam. So I haven't exactly had the time to sit down and check out Godot 4.0. And that's mainly because my game was built on Godot 3.5.1. Now the problem is I'm only halfway through Chess Survivor's early access development. And personally speaking, my time and energy is a lot more precious to me these days because, well, I started a full-time job again recently, and that means I'm a part-time indie dev now. And with my best guess, I will be fully releasing the game for at least another four months, and even then, I'm likely to fall victim to the scope creep monster yet again. I'm not sure if you have ever met a scope creep monster before, but chances are you have because they are sneaky little devils. I will admit that their ideas are good and it would make our game better if not the next indie hit, but that comes at a cost of extending and expanding out your development cycle on your game. I've had to fight off so many trying to stick to my four month deadline to get my game fully released. Trust me, do not feed a scope creep monster. <laughs> What, what, what were we talking about again? Oh, right, Godot 4. Now, I know there's going to be a huge amount of hype around the release of Godot 4. You know, come to think about it, it would be a pretty great way to get more views. And maybe if I made good enough Godot 4.0 videos, then more people would subscribe and and uh, they'd leave me some nice kind comments down below. Maybe I, maybe I should upgrade to Godot 4. Maybe, you know, it, it, it can't be that hard after all, right? And... What are timelines to a solo dev like myself? Yes, you know, come to think about it, that's a pretty good idea. I, sh I should switch to Godot 4 right now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got to snap out of it, Aramis. Do not feed the scope creep monster. Scope creep is the enemy. Remember that. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, hey, thank you, Thomas. Thank you. That was, that was a close one. All right. All right. With a clear mind, let's thoughtfully consider what I could actually gain from upgrading my current project to Godot 4.0. And a quick disclaimer here, I'm not saying you should or shouldn't switch to Godot 4. I'm simply just giving you my perspective on this challenging question of if you should upgrade an old project to Godot 4. You got to make that decision for yourself. I'm hoping to share my analysis here with you to help you along that journey. And then you'll come to the conclusion yourself once you've done enough thinking. All right, with that out of the way, let's dive right in. So in general, there are a ton of improvements to Godot's custom programming language ggscript, which I could definitely use to, well, make my code less spaghetti-ish, but I guess I really shouldn't underestimate my own abilities for writing spaghetti code. After that, the reworked tile map really caught my eye and has some promising features for better functionality and some quality of life improvements as well. I also think the physics enabled particles might be really fun to play around with and could add some nice life to my game. And other than that, there are some general performance and stability improvements to the core engine, which could theoretically help. But from what I can tell, the majority of improvements for 4.0 are around the 3D engine and rendering capabilities. And well, Chess Survivors is a 2D game, so most of those new features are practically negligible for my game. Let's move on to the risks of upgrading. And for me, the biggest one is always gonna be time. But how much time will something like this take me? A month? A week? Many months? A whole year? Well, since I've never really done this before, let's do some quick YouTube research. And luckily one of my favorite Godot creators, DevDuck, actually already made a video showing the process of upgrading his 2D RPG game, Dauphin, to 4.0. Now DevDuck has a full-time job as well, and Dauphin is a comparable game as far as code base goes. So this is kind of the perfect video for me to watch to come up with an estimate. And unfortunately, it took him an entire month to get his game back up to parity once he switched to Godot 4. Another potential risk of upgrading would be add-on support for 4.0. At this point, there's just not going to be as many add-ons as there are in 3.0. Luckily for my project, I've only used one to handle the Steam integration and the dev is already working on a version for 4.0. And this is a good point about add-ons in general. 
before you start downloading a bunch of add-ons, just understand that if you have a bunch of add-ons tightly integrated into your project, you're gonna be stuck with the developer who's supporting it or the version that that current add-on is on. Luckily, in my case, I had one add-on, but if you had a bunch, that might be it. You might not be able to upgrade to the newest version until all of those developers who might not be supporting their add-ons anymore fully upgrade their add-on. Just something to consider. And the final risk that is inherent to upgrading any system across the board is going to be stability of the new system. With any change comes risk of instability and unintended bugs. But in this case, I have faith that the hype behind Godot 4.0 combined with our glorious contributors will result in any bugs being squashed pretty quickly after release. So where does that leave us? Well, based off that analysis, I will not be upgrading Chess Survivors to Godot 4. And that decision is something that has been pretty hard for me to make. I have tremendous FOMO or fear of missing out. This is a huge event for the Godot community, and it's something we've been looking for and waiting for for a very long time. So I really want to make some cool videos about Godot 4, tutorials, and, and just dive into this new engine and actually start using it myself for games. But with Chess Survivors where it is and with my life circumstances, this just doesn't make sense. So I've scoped Chess Survivors to be four months. I'm hoping to stick to it because then after I get that game fully released, I get to dive into 4.0 as my reward. I hope you found this analysis useful. I've been Aramis. Thank you so much for watching. Have a beautiful day.